what Alan feels. So that's where we're going to go. Um, B, you have Alzheimer's. What do you want people to know about Alzheimer's? It's a mean, mean, one of the meanest things I've ever seen in my life. Okay. But what do you want your friends to know out there about Alzheimer's? What do you need? I just know, need to know that I'm, I'm the same old person. And I wish that people, all my friends, could come up and just talk to me, just like they did before. Okay. And, uh, you know, play a little joke around. Do you feel as though they're afraid of you? Yeah, I know they're afraid of me. I love them. I wish, I wish they'd come over, and they don't have to stay f for five minutes, ten minutes, but they don't stay five minutes. And so, um, I would love it if they came over and they stayed over for a while, and. Uh, we, we could talk about what's really happening behind the scenes. Do you like to talk about the fact that you have Alzheimer's, or would you just ig want to ignore the fact when you talk with people? Well, I, I would rather um, just be, um, just ig ignore it, really. I would. Okay. Well, that's something they need to know, because I don't think people feel too comfortable. However, I think one of the biggest things we want them to know is the fact that um, we're not comfortable with it either, but we live it every day. We can't get away from it. So you may not feel comfortable coming to see Alan, and it may break your heart. Um, but if you truly loved him or loved us, you can take a few minutes out of your day, your busy days, and I know they're normal busy days. I remember them. And we love them all, don't we? We love them all. And for the ones, for the ones that were were here, to stop in and say hello. God bless you. Okay. And goodbye.